Welcome back to lecture number six of the course properties of AB materials. We will be now discussing the uh, common uh, or standard shape descriptions of AB materials and also the packing coefficient. Last time we talked about the roundness and sphericity. We're still in the topic of shapes, okay? All right, so table one shows the a listing of the, the, the common shape uh, descriptions of AB materials. And we have here also the description and the commodity examples for, for each uh, classification. So we start with the round, and it's the description is, uh, is it's approaching spheroid. And examples would be cherry tomato and watermelon, or kamatis and one. Oblate. Flattened at the stem end and apex. We have orange and pumpkin. Oblong, vertical diameter is greater than the horizontal. We have chili pepper, rice, and wheat. And then conic, which is tapered toward the apex. We have carrot and okra or lady fingers. Uh, ovate, egg shaped and broad at stem end. We have the eggplant or aubergine or whatever they call you, called galat or yeah, apples and some some varieties of apples and guava. Uh, oblique uh, axis is uh, axis connecting stem and apex are slated. We have your tomato and some apple varieties. Uh, obovate inverted ovate ovate broad at apex. We have mango and papaya. Uh, ellip elliptical is approaching ellipsoid. We have rice, wheat and the pointed gourd. Uh, truncated, so both ends are spared or flattened. We have bell pepper. We have also read, okay, sides are angular along the whole section with okra and then bell pepper again. We have regular horizontal section approaching a circular shape. We have orange, apple, and guava. And irregular horizontal section falls short of our A circle. The okra, chili, pepper, mango, most of them are roughly like a regular shape. Uh, An equal half portion is larger than the other half, or mango. Again, these are just the standard shapes, and uh, there is no uh, single classification standard for, for shapes. And uh, more, more uh, descriptive uh, uh, classifications could, could be used. A very practical application of uh, determining the fruit shape would be in the side and the packing of the fruit of fruit and vegetables. We have here in Figure Three a packing of persimmon, uh, persimmons, okay, a variety of persimmon uh, produced. Okay, so produced from a farm and in now in a retail store. So an average shape and uh, shape and size of the persimmon variety would have been first determined uh, prior tapping a packaging supplier to produce the packaging that you are seeing now. Because uh, it seems the custom the, the 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 packaging is or the container is customized to the size and shape of the persimmon. Uh, shape and size also come in handy during the transport of the. Uh, uh, AB materials, which are often perishable and fragile products. The necessary steps like cushioning during transport will need to be done. As you can see, you have here, sorry, you have here empty punnets used to contain the food and vegetables in figure two. Okay. Uh, this serves as cushion for the fruit as there might be, sorry, 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 There's there might be a uh, certain limit limit to the compression capabilities of uh, the material. Uh, impact damage is very common with uh, fruit since uh, these materials are uh, a lot a lot of the, a lot of or, or majority of the uh, percentage of this is water. Uh, in particular, it could be ninety percent even for. Uh, watermelon, strawberries, and cantaloupe melons. The stacking is best described by a property, as you can see, the packing coefficient, which is the ratio of the material volume packed to the 
total cold container uh, volume. And it's, it's, uh, it's de uh, defined uh, by equation one. Sorry for my trigger happy finger. Okay, so equation one is essentially the definition which is material volume over the container volume, uh, Vm over Vc. Okay, so variations in stacking can also uh, help out in containing more uh, products in a container, as you can see here from in figure three, where uh, the succession of stack or packing inside a container, you can see here you see that uh, the last item has one more than the than the uh, the other two. Uh, so essentially, the the shape and the size uh, would have helped out in adding more one item inside the container. Okay, so in the next property, we're still in the physical uh, property of materials. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, the surface area and porosity. So I'll see you by then.